I don't know if that was the wind or if that was just me being pure. Actually, unbelievable golf. Oh my god. So the tee shot, guys, hasn't exactly went where I wanted it to go. Definitely not getting on the green too. Oh my god. Oh my effing god. Oh my god, it's worked. Come in. A little bit more. Guys, welcome back to another video on the channel where today we're up here at Green Acres Golf Club where today we are going to be playing nine holes in the channel. Currently nine hole shots. We're playing nine hole course log. Uh, it could be very interesting today. Winds are 26 miles per hour, so it is going to be very challenging. The aim for today is hopefully to go around the course, playing nine holes, three or four over. If I could go around at even par, I'll tell you what, I would be delirious. But realistically, it's going to be about four, three, and maybe five over. Uh, going with the conditions today. Not even the conditions, just my golf in general. It could be three or four or five over. But anyway, guys. Hope you enjoy this one, and I just want to say, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, guys, go down there and hit that little button now. It'd be very much appreciated. It helps the channel grow, and it helps the, me to push out more content to you guys, and I hope you enjoy it. But if you still out there, don't forget to hit the like button, guys, and don't forget to go down in the comments and tell me what you think of the video, and tell me what you think of the channel and what you'd like to see on the channel. Uh, it would be very, very much appreciated. But anyway, back to the video. Nine hole, course log. How well can we do? Aim for today would be three or four over in 26 mile an hour winds. It's gonna be interesting. Let's see what we get. Let's get it. Let's get it. Shot, shot, but it's an alright shot, Gary. There, let's get it. Come on. Shot for you guys. This is the shot where I really need to make a count now. Where I've got a pitch wedge in hand. Wind is very strong. Honestly, I think it's 60 degrees on the mega. Maybe it should be the club. Maybe it should be the club. See where? Got a pitch wedge in hand. He's got a full stick as well. Back. 
ball is, is on the fringe of the green. And it's a uh, like 10% chance of me putting that. But anyway, we're power putting and we're close enough. Big up here for power guys. Left myself the best of shots. Right out of the pen. I hope I am close. That's that's probably one of the best shots I've hit all year. Oh, it feels good. That feeling you get. So, guys, I currently have this pot here for birdie. Just going to try and read the green here. Going to try and get a proper understanding of the greens. It's really what I want to try and learn on. If you can leave me any tips on that there below, just down in the comment section and let me know any tips and what is the best way to read the green because I honestly can't really understand it. Well, slightly. I'm going to take the flag out. I know the flag could possibly stop it if it goes too quick, but let's hope we can get a birdie here. That's a great third shot there. I'm going to clean the ball, make sure there's no dirt under it. No dirt under the ball. Keep going, keep going. Oh, no. Can't be disappointed with a par. Still leaves me two over. Played four holes, I'm currently two over. That's not bad, it's not bad going. But we still have five holes to go. So we need to really try and get more pars and a birdie on there somehow but we're currently two over guys another par to par five and um, the next hole is another par five uphill you can be on this par five and two if you play it right if you hit a good drive but anyway let's get straight to it hole five guys it's another par five stroke index 17 so this this one will be very interesting but anyway driver in hand the target is obviously the trees up there the right hand side if you can get one down there towards them trees i'll be happy it went down there but it stayed left and it's hit a tree and I'm in the trees to the left hand side guys where was I going? in the trees to the left hand side not the best of drives oh come on so my tee shot guys it hasn't exactly went where I wanted it to go definitely not getting on the green too I'm going to have to play one out between these two trees here hopefully avoid that plant thing in the middle with the trees in it uh, six iron in hand to try and get one out, keep it low so we don't hit these branches so six iron in hand, try and get chip one out not the greatest of tee shots chip one out, get one on and free oh, 
and I still clip the branch. But we're in the middle of the fairway. Let's try and get one free here. So we're currently setting 165. No, sorry, 175 yards into wind. Uh, seven irons. I don't think a seven iron is going to get there with winds being at least 25 to 26 miles per hour. It's very strong. You can probably hear it. But we're going to go six iron. Try and get one through it on the green and three. Two pop for par. We'll take it. But anyway, let's try and get on there. Oh my god, that is a great shot. Keep going, keep going. Yep, front of the green guys, we're on, front of the green. Two pots for par, it's a big massive pot to get close for par. But anyway, we've two pots here for par, let's try and get it. So, just going to clean the pitch mark. Where the ball had landed, that's rolled back. But anyway guys, big, 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 big pot for birdie uphill. Just want to get one close, just need to try and figure out how hard I'm going to hit this. Whip away from it to the left hand side. But I see something up there, I'm going to aim it at that. This is for birdie. This would be the biggest birdie probably ever made. Oh my god, I absolutely well like that. Keep going, keep going. I hit it that hard, I thought I nearly broke the putter. But anyway guys, that's not a bad attempt. We are now par putting and it's reasonable. So absolute majassive putt here for par. Yes, and I did just say majassive. But big, big putt for par here. I'm going to try and read the green here. Around here, depending on how hard I hit that. But two, about a putter and a half length away from it, the head of it. This is a big, big par putt. I really don't want to go free over. Playing five, don't want to be. I've played five and go free over. I want to try and keep it at two. Take the glove off. Just try and really. Yeah. I think I have it. I think I have it, guys. I think I've got this one in the bag. Oh my god, <laughs> it's just turned last bit. And there we have it. It's going to be a boogie, guys. And that's a bogey on the, the par 5 on the 5th. But anyway, we're now going to be going on to the 6th hole, which is obviously the first hole in the back 9. So it's going to be hole 6, it's going to be par 4, and it's going to be uh, hopefully an interesting one. But let's go and try and get another par. Hole 6 guys, which is the 10th hole at Green Acres. Hole 6 in the video, 9 hole course vlog. It's a par 4, 380 yards, end to end. You can probably hear that on the microphone. It's so strong. It's going to be ridiculous how I get this ball down here. Target here is obviously the wind's going left. So if I slice this here, hopefully the wind brings the slice into play. So I'm going to actually go down straight down the middle. Hopefully the wind doesn't take it left. But if I slice it, I should be safe. Oh my god. Oh my effing god. I tell you one thing. I don't know if that was the wind, or if that was just me being pure, actually unbelievable at golf. But I tell you what, that has got to be the best drive I've ever hit in this hole. In the wind as well. Wow, come on! Shot two guys, we're on the right hand side of the fairway, just slightly in the rough, but it was just such a pure straight shot, I think that's why I liked it so much. Wind is going left here, so I'm going to try and aim this a little bit right. I think this could be the play, I hope it's the play. So I'm going to try and aim it, the right hand side of this small tree in front of me. Pitching wedge in hand, 118 to the pin. Wind against as well, slightly. So, pitching wedge in hand, right hand side of that tree. Hopefully it just comes in. Come in. Come in. There it comes. There it comes. It came in a little bit, but I think we're still short. Shows you that wind is so strong. We're short, I think. So, shot for you guys. I was short. Short and no more. But it was still nowhere near, nowhere near the pin. So we've got a 58 degree in hand here. Go do a nice little putt and stroke. Try and get one close to the pin. And hopefully walk away with a bar. That's the target here. Keep going, keep going. I like them being closer. Really, I like them being closer there. 
So we now have a monster pot for par. After a great drive, if I walk away with a bogey here, I'm going to be very disappointed. Big par pot. Big, big par pot. Take a flag out. That wind is terrible. I can't pot with that wind. Wow. For par, for par. Oh, he missed it. It's going to be a top end bogey, guys, and on to the par three after. There's the bogey. And another bogey in the cards. Such a great drive to another bogey on the cards. Where is my golf game going wrong? So. We're walking away from that par, par 4 guys with a bogey. It's not great, I need to really try and get some pars on here. But next hole anyway, listen to that wind, it is so so strong. Next hole here, and the 7th hole is a par 3 which is the second hole in the back 9. It's uphill, dramatically uphill. I would usually hit a pitching wedge here but because of the wind I'm going to hit a 9 iron. Wind's cutting a strong way across to the right as you can see by the flag. It's a 9 iron here. Aim left of it, hopefully it comes in. That's my that's my that's my hoping. Nine iron hand. Oh it's coming in too. It is coming in. Drop down the flag, drop down the flag. <gasps> but as it gets if it goes past the flag a little bit more than I want it to, there is a hill so it is gonna roll. So I need to make the, the right pace here on this ball. I need to put the right pace in the ball. And hopefully I just get one close to it. I'm happy with the par. Don't want to be too greedy. Keep going, keep going ball, keep going ball. And we'll take that guys, that's exactly what we're after there. A nice little knock in for par. Finally, another par on the cards. There's the par, and I'll tell you what. I made sure that went in, it went round the cup, and nearly came back out. Just about me at that, but anyway, it's a par, guys. And we're going to another dog leg right, par four, which is going to be hole eight, if I'm right, which is going to be very interesting. So, we're on hole eight, guys, which is currently hole 12 on the back nine. So, hole eight, it's par four, 396 yards to 392 yards, roughly. It's a dog leg right. My target here, with the wind going that way, is so strong. The wind's picked up, so this, this morning it was 26, it's probably over that now. So my target at the minute, guys, is the tree down there, the left-hand side. The wind's going to bring the ball in. No matter what I do here, the wind's going to bring the ball in, right? So I'm going to try and commit to that line down there. Just hopefully nature does its thing. Oh my god, that could work out well. Come on. Make it. Make it. <laughs> what an absolute shot. Shot to you guys. Very challenging shot. The ball has, has come around the corner, but it's left me a real, real... That's actually a crazy shot. There's my balls literally exploded and rolled out a bit. So, I've got this big-ass tree to get over here. I've got a pitch wedge in hand. I need some serious ball height on it. And the wind's going strong that way. So, I need to be aiming just right-hand side of that bunker to the left. And hopefully the wind does the rest, but I don't know if it's going to, if it's the right distance where the ring's going to have enough time to bring it in. So I've got a pitching wedge in hand. Clean them twigs away. Pitching wedge in hand. As I say, I'm going to try and commit to my shot. And hopefully get over this tree. Two difficult shots here, I have to say. Let's hopefully I can do it. Oh my god, it's worked. Come in. A little bit more. Hey, what guys? Look, look how wet it is. Great strike as well, and we're birdie potting. Big one for birdie, but we're birdie potting. We'll take it, come on. So, big birdie opportunity here, guys. As you can see, uphill, looks straight enough. A little bit of rightness in it, it's going from, it's, going, it's turning right as it gets to the flag, but I'm gonna just go right at it. 30 attempt. Come in, come in. It's close enough for par. Take the par and we'll walk away and go to the last hole, guys. I'll be happy with a little knock in for par here. 
there we have it another par in the cards guys and we go to the par 3 now which will be interesting which is the last hole also so uh, let's go and check it out so hole 9 guys this is the final hole on the video it's a par 3 171 yards uphill got a 6 iron in hand hope it's enough because the wind's very strong here uh, plus I'm off a winter tee box I'm not a big fan of them so the wind's still as I say the wind's still going sharp left so I think if a, a bit of a slice even if I slice this here a little bit which it shouldn't it should still go straight enough at the pin so 6 iron in hand the wind is ridiculously strong so it is but let's try and get one close let's try and get one on it oh my god it's right on it see if that makes it that is well short i mean that looked incredible the ball flight looked really good that that looked very good in shot tracer but anyway that went right at it and that's probably still like 40 50 yards short gosh listen to how strong that wind is wow shot two guys as i said left it about 20 plus 30 yards short the wind's actually killing every shot i hit here so got a 58 degree in hand just going to try and just going to try and uh that's not one it's terrible <laughs> just going to try and get one close it is uphill pen's just sitting at the top of the hill 58 degree in hand just go try and get one up close to it come out a little bit fat there so it did but anyway power pot on it's gonna be a bogey pot to finish by the looks of it if i think that'll be happy but realistically it's looking like a bogey pot but anyway, let's try and get this par. Come on. So we have an absolute monster pot for par, guys. Oh, hell. Wasn't the best of tips, by the way. But we're putting it up here. I don't think the wind knows what it wants to do here. So, wind shouldn't affect it, but it's just, it's just, it's hard to play in. Uphill, sloping left a bit. It's more or less about pace. Need to get it close for bogey, then I'll be happy. Come on in a little bit. Tell you what, it's not bad for Boogie. Looks straight enough. Hopefully they get it. Hopefully they can get it. There we have it guys. Boogie to finish. Not exactly what we wanted. But guys, just want to say, hope you enjoyed this video. I think I finished five over, I'm not too sure. I think it was four or five over. In these conditions I'll take that. I think we had four pars or four powers we'll take uh 26 men our wins it's not it's not the worst but anyway hope you enjoyed this one guys and don't forget to go down leave a comment in the comment section don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel it would be very much appreciated and uh if you've already done that there uh stay tuned for more we've got a lot more content coming and uh see you next time